So how many Christians are here? No, what me think? What little? The God, 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 to count yourself a member of a family. But the Bible also compares being a member of a house to your own house, your house, your life. So as a, a, a material house is built with things that we see, uh, your house, your spiritual house is built with spiritual things. So we're thankful for this material house, but we want to pray a blessing on the people that are here that live in this household. In Proverbs 23, 3 to 4, it uses this comparison language. Proverbs 23:3-4. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. So this is speaking of the house of your your being. Comparing it to a house that's built. So this person who built this house had to be a smart person. Seems pretty strong to me. All these rooms and the floors firm. It was a smart person, a wise person. But the comparison is of the wise house, the person uh, is built by wisdom and by understanding it is strong. By knowledge, Dathenya, the rooms are filled with good things. No? So I pray this house will be filled with good things. 
อกุตันเนยบาตุกบาลิกิเปลปุนิกะปูเวดอตากุเตตาลากิวาติรภาคะละกะเซตาดอตะเดคะละกะเซบัตเฮาส์สปีกิงออฟอาวร์เฮาส
these words of Jesus is like a house on the rock that is a wise person. It is like a wise person who built his house on a solid foundation. His house has a solid foundation. It's strong. It's not going to move. So what are the foundation of the wise person? You look outside, many people are shaking. The whole world, it seems like, is shaking. How can we stay firm? By understanding and knowing God. But who's speaking these words? Everyone who hears these words of mine, these are the words of Jesus. So the number one word that Jesus told us was to believe in him as the Son of God. That is the foundation of wisdom. It's the foundation of how we have good things in the rooms of our heart. For we in our hearts have been we separated from God by our wrongdoings, our sin. The Bible says whoever follows sin in their heart is not wise. And we see examples of that outside people following a sinful way and they're not wise. But Jesus says, listen to my words. Have faith in my words. Jesus is Son of God. He came to pay for all of our sin. Take it upon Himself. God so loves us, He sent His Son. Whoever receives Jesus will have eternal life. That, brothers and sisters, is wisdom. Having Jesus in your heart cleanses the rooms of your heart and fills them with good things. And we become wise people. Faith in Christ. Becoming his people. Following his ways. I know you like family, many are already believers. Many of you are believers. I pray everyone in here will be a great believer in Christ. That everyone who comes in this house will hear the gospel and see the gospel. See it lived out. See a family living by wisdom. Now the other person that doesn't have Christ says troubles come. Rains fall. Floods. Wins, and their house Stay firm on Christ. 
ขอบคุณอาจารย์ทุกท่านเลิศตาตาปรีตาพระพุทธเจ้าเลิศตาปรีตาพระพุทธเจ้าเลิศตาปรีตาพระพุทธเจ้าเลิศตาปรีตาพ